guys, I got my Ipsy. That. I got my Ipsy in the mail yesterday. So I want to go ahead and open it up. I, I've already opened it up. When I unbox these for you guys, typically I already know what's in them because I, I cheat. I'm a cheater. I look online. Um, I look in my glam room for boxy charm. I look at the emails and I look on their Facebook page. So I'm a little cheater. I want to know what I'm getting. I want to know if I'm going to be disappointed ahead of time. But I did redeem some points. I don't even know when. Oh, you guys aren't even going to be able to see it. Okay, it's on this light blue paper. But if you can see this white design, it's like a henna. There you go. This is what the design is going to look like. It's in white. And it's like a henna tattoo. Like a transfer one. So I used to do henna on myself all the time. And I haven't done it for a long time. I used to get the henna at um, Hot Topic. And Hot Topic doesn't carry it anymore. Hot Topic doesn't carry jack shit anymore. Because they're punk instead of goth. Like they used to be back when I was 15 and 16. Hot Topic has gone to shit. But I have found, uh, found some cheap henna on Wish.com. W-I-S-H. Wish.com. There, you can use the app or you can use whatever. I have a video that'll be up soon if it's not already up. Um, it, everything comes from like China and Japan. And it's super cheap and they have henna. So I'll probably be getting henna sometime in the future and doing that because I really like henna. I really enjoy it. So I did get a henna tattoo with my points. Um, they, have a, they have right now on Ipsy today, which is October 17th. I don't know what day it is. Um, they have, for 1,500 points, which I wish I had, I have like 500 points. For 1,500 points, they have a ColourPop um, eyeshadow set. It's like six ColourPop shadows, and I was like, oh my gosh. I've redeemed all my points on these little tiny, like, bullshit things. I wish I would have saved them up, because I've had like a total of like 2,500 points since I've been with them. I'm like, man, I wish I would have saved it up. I could have got some ColourPop. Okay, let's get it going. Here we go. The um, theme is Alter Ego. Um, I believe she's a YouTuber. I don't know who she is. I've heard someone say that they knew who she was. I don't know who she is. Um, I don't really care. Card goes from garbage. Along with the perfume that just fell on the Okay. So this is what the bag looks like. It is gold. Which I don't mind. Our bag last month was like a bronzy gold color. And had a design. This one's just a little square. And, but it's like that black, like, pleather, shiny on the back. And it's actually sturdy. The last time they sent us a bag like this, that was this shape, was like that silver one that had the little studs on top. And it was so thin and flimsy. Like, it was ridiculous. So this bag's a lot better. And I do like it. I will keep this one. It's not too bad. Let's see. First thing we're going to pull out is... Okay, if you just watched my empties video... I had the Love Vanilla Laboratories lotion that smells musky. Well, here's the Love Vanilla Laboratories perfume in vanilla. It has the same exact scent. Same exact smell as the lotion. Very, very musky. But you know what? After using that lotion, I hated it. Absolutely hated it at first. And it is. It's just like a straight vanilla musk. Or a strong musk. Less vanilla. Very, very musky. That's pretty much all you're going to smell. Um, I hated it. And I was like, that's it. It's just a little tube. It's like less than two ounces. So I'm just going to use it up. Just call it, you know, throw it in my empties and call it a day. But by the time I was getting done with the tube, I was like, well, it's really not that bad of a smell. I've kind of gotten used to it and adjusted to it. So I think I'm going to keep the perfume. I'll use it. It's very little. You know, it's just a little rollerball one. And it's supposed to be all natural and everything. I'm not a huge fan, but this is one that's really easy to get used to. So I'll keep it. Next thing I got was some tweezers from the Mite Makeup. I am not happy about tweezers. I have like a thousand set of tweezers. I get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And I know that these are like more expensive. They're supposed to be professional, but I mean, they don't even look like it. They look kind of cheap. Like, look at how the pink is on it. It looks like it's all faded out, and it looks kind of, like, stupid. I mean, they're just some pink tweezers. I'll use them, but I, I feel like it's kind of a waste of my of one of my items in there. I don't I don't want no freaking tweezers. I can get those at the dollar store, and they'll be just as good. So I've got some backup tweezers that'll... 
sit around. Maybe that's what I'm going to give away for you guys. I'm going to start saving stuff that I don't want and like for a giveaway. And when we hit so many subscribers, I will be doing like some massive giveaways. Let's see. The next thing we have is um, the Nourish Organic Food for Healthy Skin Pure Hydrating Argan Face Serum. It's apricot and rose hip. Normal to dry skin. I have their avocado under eye cream that I really, really enjoy. This smells like straight up white liquid. It is like a straight up oil that they put in a squeeze tube. Well, they didn't think that through very well. That just like seriously is just gonna drip. It seriously just drips out. Like you can see that. Okay. Well, they didn't think the packaging through very well, but it smells like straight apricots. That's what it smells like. It smells like some, um, like citrus and apricots. Yeah, it feels very oily. I mean, I'll use it on my face definitely, like at night or something, because it's hydrating. Argan face serum. They need to say that it's just oil because it seriously is like just oil. Just put that in the back of my hands. It is soaking in pretty good, but you can still, I don't know if you can see it. It's oily. It's very, it's an oil. It's a straight oil. So, let's, we'll give it a little bit and we'll see how good that sinks in. Because that's a straight up oil. Wait, it's still shiny. It's still feeling. Okay. It doesn't feel greasy. If you let it sit for just a little bit. Rub it in real good. Let it have time to soak in. It doesn't leave it a greasy feel. But if you just let it instantly, it leaves greasy. But you let it soak in a little bit. I can't even talk today. Look, instantly, I'm retarded. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, it does soak in. Doesn't leave you greasy. That's nice. The next thing we have is Mica Beauty Cosmetics, which I do like Mica a lot. I have. A loose pigment up there from them, and I think it's green. This is a cream eyeshadow in bronze. And that's what it looks like on the inside. My lighting is really nasty today. Everything is like blue. Alright. It's very creamy and it's very pigmented. Holy crap! A very bright bronze color. Very, very bright. Very pigmented. Very metallic. I do like that. That is gorgeous. This will definitely get used. Alright. I have a lot of cream shadow. I just like have it tucked away. I'm the type of person that if I can't see it, I forget I have it and I don't use it. So I have to force myself. I know I'm off topic here. But like I have an everyday makeup basket where I, I'll change it out like every two weeks. But I'm like forcing myself to use things. Like this is what I use today as a cream shadow on my lids and then put a little bit of um, brown matte shadow in the crease for just a little bit of dimension but I'm like forcing myself to use stuff because I forget that it's there. I, stuff that I love, it's good products but I'll forget if it's not sitting in front of my face I forget about it. Okay, sorry, off topic. And then the last thing we have is this little mini liquid lipstick. I do not mind that it is this little because I have a whole basket right here of liquid lipsticks, and I have more because I'm going to do a haul video after this video um, from the Dollar Tree, and I have a bunch of liquid lipsticks from there. So, this one is by the Balm, and it's committed is the color, and it's little, and that's fine because I'm never going to get through all these. So, I do like the mini ones, plus they fit in my makeup bag and my purse better. So this is the Meat Matte Hues. This one's committed. It looks like a very pretty color. I kind of don't want to swatch it because I don't want to waste it. We're going to get some of the product off here because like a lot of product just came out off the brush. And I don't really want to waste all this. Okay. You guys don't need a whole lot of product for just a swatch. Okay. Um, it was a little bit patchy, but maybe that's because I didn't do a whole lot of product. There we go. I like that. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be matte because it's meat matte hues, which usually that means they're going to be matte. So I don't know how long it'll take to dry down, but there is the color. It's like a nudish, like a brownish terracotta pink color. 
if you want to mix all three of those together. It's really hard to see my lips are stuck. I need to get better lighting in here for you guys. Um, but I'm guessing it's gonna dry down to a matte finish. I've never used the balm ones before, so we'll see how it does. I don't know if it's gonna be like kiss proof, but Here's what I'm going to do for you guys. Since I am building up such a big collection of liquid lipsticks, I'm going to do a battle of my liquid lipsticks. And I don't have very many high-end ones, so it's going to be like more affordable liquid lipsticks. I do have a couple high-end, and I would like to get a couple Kat Von D, because I know some of them are kiss-proof. Um, and I know everybody's got their defin definitions of liquid lipstick. Like, technically, you don't want to show it as a liquid lipstick if it doesn't dry matte and isn't kiss-proof. But I have anything that is... Thicker, like, or more pigmented than just a gloss. Like, I have on a Milani Power Up, like, one of those twist-up ones, and it's borderlining a liquid lipstick and a gloss. Like, if you do a real thick layer, it kind of looks like a liquid lipstick, but you got to put on real thick. It's a borderline one, but the ones that are so pigmented that you just can't make it a gloss anymore. To me, a gloss is a gloss. An old-fashioned might have some tint to it, this is minty. Sorry, this one's like chocolate mint. Um, the meat mat he's. We're gonna wait, we're waiting for this to dry down. It's halfway there. Um, but I'm an old fashioned girl. I want my gloss to be shiny. Maybe have some shimmer in it. It can have color, that's fine, but when it's like straight pigment, that's a liquid lipstick at that point. When it looks like a, lip, a lipstick, it might be shiny, it might be glossy, but when it's got the color pigmentation of a lipstick, therefore it is a liquid lipstick. That's how I def define it in my book. So I have a whole basket here, and I have a whole bunch more that I've hauled that I will be showing you guys, and we'll be battling it out and see which ones are better, which ones are worth the money. And, uh, I mean, I figure you guys would be interested. This is a big thing right now, but I have a lot of affordable ones. A lot of affordable ones. So I know everybody's doing their battles of their liquid lipsticks where they're high-end Kat Von D. That's great, but I don't want to spend $20 on one liquid lipstick. I want to spend $20 and get three or four. And I get that some of them are better than others. So maybe I will, for my birthday, spend $20 on one Kat Von D one. You know, if I get, I'm going to get gift cards for my birthday from Sephora. That's what everybody asked me what I want in a couple weeks for my birthday. That's what I want, gift cards for Sephora. So that's what I'm going to, you know, I'll go, I'm probably going to get one uh, along with one of her palettes. But if it's just my money, uh, it's really hard for me to spend $20 on a liquid lipstick. So we'll see. Okay. So now that I have talked your ear off, this has dried down to a completely matte. It's almost completely dried down. It smudges off just ever so slightly. I don't think I've let it dry completely down. But it's not it's not going anywhere very very much. Um I wonder if I let it dry down a little bit further. It's got a little sticky to it, and I don't know if that's gonna go away or not. But it smells like mint chocolate, so it's delicious. But I, I like that. I do like that liquid lipstick. I will probably use that up pretty fast. Okay, so now that we have made this video 13 and a half minutes long, I'm going to say goodbye. And I will link down the Ipsy link below. Have a wonderful day.